Welcome to Violin Adventures number 54. Now this week we had a couple visitors. They'll be scattered through, through this episode, so you'll have to find them. But we start off with varnishing the Michael Newman violin. I'm really happy with this because I can control the spray and it's a very, very thin coat and I can adjust the color variation. So I'm happy with this coat and we'll let this dry and see about another coat in a couple days. Here's a dear friend from Belize and she was visiting with us and made us a special plate um, from her home country of Belize. And this turned out delicious. Not only did she make the little tortillas, but, but there was also a layer of chicken and sauce and um, a bit of salad on top. So it turned out really tasting good. Hello, so I am making salbutes. It is one of the like little dishes that we eat in Belize. So here I'm going to be frying this kind of tortilla corn. And yeah, this one already pooped out, so we're going to turn it around. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> and then now we're going to, since we don't have a tortilla maker, this is what we're using but it's still going to work wonders. So we're just going to apply all the force that we have. <laughs> and it's going to look like that. So we need to try to get it as flat as possible. Yep. Now let me come and check on this. This is the finished product. Looks delicious. Okay, it is time to make a mess. We've got to get this carved out. The closer I get this down to the right dimension, it gets louder and louder. Hear this. fantastic so I'm just working to get any little bit that might need to come down a 
this is where it gets just a little bit hard because you don't want to go too far. But I love the tone. Okay, we've got just a little bit left to do on this. See, that's got a really good tone, and I don't want to go too far. We got that done, and now we're cutting out the sound holes. Here we're painting the Star of David Gold. And here we have a special little customer who watches the videos faithfully and she wanted to come and see the shop. So she helped me this week. Something that was amazing to me is we had to make new glue from watching the videos. She knew exactly when the glue had soaked enough and was ready to be heated. That was amazing. So we finished the sound holes. They're a little bit more Guarneri style. And now we need to get the base bar in. So we'll go to the wood room and look for a nice sounding base bar. Okay, Wood, where are you? I think this little piece might be good. Let's check the tone on it. Okay, you want to put that in? Yes, this one. Put it in the pot. Oh. Like this. And then we turn it on. It's 
going to be hot. Yes, it's going to be hot. Turn that up. And we'll let it cook for a while. I can't see. Good. That's it. You can hold it with your other hand. Yeah, there you go. That work. Good job. We decided to take a picture of the harp as it's going together. We need glue for the wiggle for it. The glue is going to help throw the wiggles. I think she would like the wiggles to be permanent on this harp. Ooh, they're going to stick a little holes on the big holes. Okay. Okay, good. Now you lift it up and you check it and put it back. Okay, turn it off. And it's time for the end of the week review, but I thought I would let my little customer do it from her point of view. Hope you enjoy. Sarah's workshop. There you go. This is a harp. There you go. A harp. Good. Candles. Cello. Okay. I could say balls. 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 Ooh. And I'm going to do the violin. Okay. Violin. Ooh. Whoa, these. Okay. Flowers? Flower? Another flower? And how about this? Paint! Got paint! Little violin! Hodu la Hashem ki tov, ki la alam has do. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good, because his loving kindness or his faithfulness is forever. Well, thank you all for watching and for your thumbs up and your comments. They're always a joy to read. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Until next time, God bless you. Bye.